14th of 2016 English Espanol Vanos Enigma Yesterday I recorded that video mix number 118 but I still have the feeling like there's missing something Ayer he grabado este video mix numero 118 y tengo el sentimiento que todavía falta algo. Of course, it was very much about depression. Um, often people don't can't explain exactly the real reason why they feel depressed. But in my case, um, I think it's much more a certain situations which make me feel depressed. En el video en general estaba mucho sobre depresión. Mucha gente eh, hablando de depresión no pueden explicar exactamente qué por, por qué razón tienen depresión. En mi caso son más bien ciertas situaciones que me hacen sentir depresiva. Actually, I often feel much more angry than depressed, and in that case, and uh, several days ago, I may I took one antidepressant, which made me very tired. Um, a menudo yo me siento mucho más cabreada que depresiva. Y hace unos días me he tomado ese antidepresivo para calmar mis nervios. Because uh, in these cases, I get very uh, self-destructive and suicidal thoughts. En este caso, a menudo, hasta me vienen unos pensamientos muy eh, autodestructivos y pensamientos de suicidio con tanto cabreo. Honestly, um, if I should answer the question, what is the biggest problem for me personally at the moment? Honestamente, si sí, tengo que contestar la pregunta, ¿qué es la pre, la, el problema más grande eh, en este momento para mí? Es actually that I get very um, uh, angry and depressive after conversation, in and after conversations with my mother. Es realmente que um, me cabreo y eh, me, luego me siento muy depresiva después de conversaciones con mi madre. I think this uh, problem is much more severe than any uh, problem with people on the internet. You can just uh, shut the down uh, the computer, laptop, uh, or block them like like Bitcoin doc will block cryptocurrency cat, but you can't block your own mother. So, creo que es mucho más um, severo que eh, algún discusiones con, en internet con gente que simplemente puedes cerrar el ordenador uh, o bloquear la persona como Bitcoin Doc ha bloqueado Cryptocurrency Cat, eh, pero no puedes bloquear tu propia madre. I forgot to mention the last time in that video 118 that uh, at first she complained that I didn't phone her earlier uh, but uh, I, I always write down when we uh, spoke the last time and it was not even one week and she complains uh, because she has a winter depression in Germany and doesn't want to uh, come to, to Canarias 
se me olvidó de mencionar que ella primero se quejó que no yo no la había llamado por eh, y yo siempre me apunto cuando habla, hemos hablado la última vez y que todavía no ha, no ha pasado una semana y ella eh, coge la depresión de invierno de Alemania yo vivo aquí 20 años Canarias ella podría venir aquí yo podría ganar más dinero en Alemania y ella ya tiene su pensión y no quiere venir a Canarias qué 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 perversidad es esa eh It's so perverse. I could make much more money in Germany than here, uh, and she could be have a b much better life here in Canarias. She gets her pension in Germany, and she she complains about the bad weather in Germany. And I should go to Germany and get big depression too. What what perversity is that? Makes me remember that she told me at least one uh, several times she told me uh, she got big depression when her mother died and she had the feeling like uh, that her mother wants to pull her into the grave into the uh, to die too to 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 stick the depression. Me recuerda que ella me, eh, me contó varias veces que cuando su, su madre murió, que ella luego me contó que su madre quiere tirarla a, en su tumba a morir también, a pegarle la depresión. And these type of depressive conversations when they, uh, the parents tell the children anyway, uh, uh, her mother and now she, she's telling me, ah, she's going to die, uh, uh, she, she still can, can walk, uh, she, she can still do everything and I should go there and get depression too. Y esas conversaciones depresivas que te ponen muy depresivas, que cuando los, los, los padres siempre encuentran a los hijos, ah, que vo me voy a morir, me voy a morir, me voy a morir, eh, ah, eh, tú quieres tirar a, a, a tus hijos a, la, a, a esa depresión y para que, mira que, mira que si sigue eso así, yo quiero morirme antes, que luego tú puedes morir a mi tumba. I feel like ah, I want to die before. But anyway, when I was young, uh, I had had um, anorexia. I was over, often feeling like I want to die. I, uh, forma cuando yo era joven, como 13 años, muy a menudo ten, tenía pensamientos suicidas, que tenía ganas de estar ya muerto, joder. But this stupid argument wouldn't be enough for me to wanting to commit suicide. I want to blame the state for because they force me to finance uh, perversities like financing wars and then finance uh, the consequences of the wars and social aid or the foreigners who flee from the wars go, uh, want to go to Germany because of the social aids and all this fucking... Uh, Mindfuck, mad mindfuck. Pero esto no sería suficiente para mí para querer hacer suicidio. Eh, si hago algo así, yo quiero echar la culpa al Estado porque me, me obliga de financiar perversidades como financiar guerras y luego financiar las consecuencias de guerras. Tanta gente que ahora huyen de las guerras a Alemania, cuánta gente que, que ah, mira, si oyen mi pequeño problema, ah, sí, me gustaría saber hablar alemán y ir a Alemania y poder, ah, no, 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 no tengo licencia para trabajar I don't have license to because of the fucking state who doesn't give license just have license to fucking work and earn your bread earn your money joder uh, mucha gente que si oyen joder no I don't know I don't remember did I translate that into Spanish already uh, I just continue I could never ever talk these words uh in a conversation face to face with my mother but sometimes I like to speak my thoughts nunca nunca podría decir cosas así como en una conversación por ejemplo con mi madre eh, esto pff, pero a veces me gusta hablar mis pensamientos 
sometimes when I often, most, very often when I start talking uh, and uh, put on this voice recorder, I don't know already the design which I will do for that video, but this time um, I thought already before that I will put at least these uh, two things. Y a menudo cuando empiezo una grabación de voz todavía no sé exactamente el diseño que voy a hacer, pero esta vez ya lo ten, tengo más o menos decidido, así que las siguientes dos frases. Because this is often how I feel talking with my mother. Porque esto es a menudo como me siento hablando con mi madre. First, anything you say or do can and will be used against you in a court of law. And um, hashtag written together Bitcoin per minute. I want Bitcoin per minute. Of course, this is, but just as design for the thumbnail of the video. Bueno, estoy hablando del diseño del video. Ha uh, escrito como um, todo lo que diga puede ser utilizado en contra de ti ante un tribunal de justicia o más bien de corrupción. Y también el hashtag escrito juntos Bitcoin por minuto. Yo quiero Bitcoin por minuto. I think it's really difficult um, to find that line between um, not to talk too much and not to talk too little, but because it's unfriendly, especially with parents. Creo que es muy difícil a veces de encontrar la línea de uh, no demasiado, hablar demasiado, tampoco demasiado poco, porque no es amable, especialmente hablando con padres. You can't just block them like Bitcoin blocked cryptocurrency cat on Twitter. No puedes bloquearlos como Bitcoin Dog ha bloqueado cryptocurrency cat on, on Twitter. Anyway, you should be careful of blocking people. Uh, anywhere on internet because they can get really angry and then come to your door and start screaming and banging on the door like many men come to my door and, and I'm very fed up of of these men starting <sighs> Ten cuidado de bloquear gente en internet porque pueden empezar a cabrearse y pueden venir delante de tu puerta a empezar a gritar y dar puerta, golpes en tu, pu en, en tu puerta. Yo, yo me siento súper alérgica a que ven, vienen casi siempre hombres delante de mi puerta y empiezan a gritar y, y dar go golpes. ¡Joder! Sorry for getting a little loud. Sometimes I get so angry, that's why I took this antidepressant on Monday and I still feel tired. Uh, perdona por... Uh, a veces me cabreo y mi voz se levanta y por eso también tomé ese antidepresivo el lunes y todavía me siento como un zombie. can hardly focus on anything, por casi no puedo concentrarme en nada didn't go out uh, anywhere because y tampoco he salido de casa often in the morning I uh, like almost everybody I'm tired I like to drink coffee and then uh, I don't have appetite then I then I get like some kind of nervous and angry and I would like to drink some some beer or something a menudo por la mañana estoy cansada como casi cualquier persona. Me gusta beber café y luego a menudo no tengo apetito. Solo me apetece, ya, ya empiezo a ponerme nerviosa y a cabrearme y me, me apetece una cerveza. This is, has the consequence, I almost don't eat and then I, I fall often into uh, like uh, low sugar 
suddenly when I walk far and suddenly I feel like oh no power no energy and it feels really horrible uh, I don't have appetite uh, yeah, I, oh, I know I should eat but I don't have appetite I just want to <sighs> imagine get stuck in the snow Joder, en Germany. Luego a menudo me pasa que comiendo nada, yo sé que pues, debería comer, pero a menudo no me apetece, bebo solo el café, el puto café, el puto cerveza, y luego de repente tengo un bajón de azúcar, me siento sin energía, y, oh, y luego imagínate quedarte atrapado en la nieve. Pobre, <risa> buen provecho. And it's a little funny, but I even get almost more angry because all this this mad mind truck uh, doesn't. Uh, I can't concentrate. I want to focus on my to do list, uh, my logical to do list. I want to focus what I really have to do and what I want to do, and not. Y casi gracioso porque esto con tanto pensar en ese, ese uh, diarrea mental que, que no, no me deja concentrar en mi tarea por hacer lo que de verdad quiero hacer, especialmente el tema de Bitcoin por minuto, Bitcoin per minute. I really want to concentrate on that now because all the... Uh, uh, And one more, re one more reason uh, I really want to mention why I do this recording. Uh, many people, they are, uh, want to talk with me and I, I really want Bitcoin per minute. I don't want to, to explain one thing uh, to, to 10, 20, 100 people. That's why I do these recordings. If they... Uh, uh, Now I got one question, somebody asking me, uh, do you speak Spanish? If you know my YouTube channel, you know that I speak Spanish. So I don't, I don't answer for, to stupid questions like if they know my channel. I answer many, I have really many details, so I don't feel necessity to answer uh, Uh, these questions which are you can find easily in my the answer in my YouTube channel. La razón por la que también hago esas grabaciones es que no me gusta explicar cosas a 10, 20 o 100 personas que ya ya tienen informa mucha información sobre mí en mi canal de YouTube. Eh, una vez uno me preguntó, do you speak Spanish? Si tú conoces mi canal de YouTube, tú sabes que, mi, que eh, eh, era en Facebook, que está muy, muy conectado con mi, mi, mi YouTube. Ya sabes que, que hablo español. Así que esas preguntas no voy a contestar. Tú puedes encontrar fácilmente. Y si, si, si todavía siguen queriendo hablar conmigo, yo yo quiero Bitcoin por minuto, lo siento, mi tiempo y dinero están limitados. Sorry, I want Bitcoin per minute, my time and money is limited, I want, uh, don't answer stupid questions, okay, uh, if you pay enough, I, I, I think um, the, the price will ne never be the same for, for every person, it, it depends with, with which person. My mother often says, "Ah, oh, you are isolating yourself. You don't. You should go out." Uh, mi madre a menudo dice, "Ah, mira, te estás isolando. Uh, Debería salir de casa." <sighs> just step out of my door I have many many people uh, around me and just the opposite like her in Germany she needs to go with the car uh, several kilometers to to be uh, among people solo salgo de casa estoy a en medio de un montón de gente y a menudo tengo, eh, mi, a, justo al revés, mi madre tiene que ir eh, varios kilómetros con el coche para estar ahí entre gente. And often when I come home, I, I'm thinking, oh, I, 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 I talk too much. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I talk too much. A menudo cuando vuelvo a casa, pienso sobre lo que estaba hablando y dije, mira, Cállate, cállate, cállate. Habla, hablas demasiado. Cállate. Yo quiero Bitcoin por minuto. 
because the risk is when you talk too much, then uh, the, politic, the politics uh, starts, and then you get angry, and, <coughs> and the depression starts again. Luego el riesgo cuando hablas demasiado, luego empieza la política, y luego ya eh, te vas a cabrear, y la depresión otra vez empieza. <coughs> I forgot to mention, um, and anyway, the question was written wrong. Do you speak Spanish? Uh, so I even just for... Uh, <coughs> I'm really tired of wasting my time with stupid stuff. Se me olvidó de mencionar que también la pregunta ya estaba escrito mal. Y mira, yo de verdad estoy cansada de... Er mi tiempo ya de toda forma. And anyway, I have to answer my mother. <laughs> I can't block her. So, yo ya tengo mucho que hacer de, de contestar mi madre. Uh, ella es una de las personas que no se puede bloquear. Oh. Yes, maybe it's true. I'm isolating myself a little, but a veces es verdad que me estás en que me estoy isolando un poco, pero... Especially lately, all these bad things which happen, uh, women raped in the streets, in the places, últimamente es, uh, todas esas cosas malas que pasan, que te pueden quitar la gana de salir de, de, de casa, como eh, que están violando a las mujeres por las plazas. Uh, it, it makes you... Uh, you lose the motivation to go out and just want to stay at home. Just the first day of that year, I really promised myself I don't want to go a get angry so so fast so often. And just when I come, I co came home, uh, one was spying on me. Uh, I recorded uh, some part. So the primer día del año. De, mira, yo no quiero cabrearme siempre tanto y justo ya el primer día me están cabreando un hombre espiándome cuando volví a casa. Joder. I could continue talking about the right to defend yourself and weapons, but personally I don't feel concer so concerned about that. No podría continuar de hablar sobre el derecho de defenderte y el, el tema de armas, pero personalmente yo no me siento tan uh, afectada de este tema. Anyway, who makes the law makes the trap. De todas formas, quien hace el, la ley hace la trampa. Who has the right to judge who is without stone cast, sorry, who is without sin cast the first stone? Quien uh, tiene el derecho de juzgar quien esté sin pecado que tire la primera piedra? I have several Twitter accounts among them. Be video mix Bible, video mix. Tengo varias. Um, Cuentas en Twitter, entre ellos también um, B, Video Mix, que es abreviación Biblia, Bible Video Mix. Very often I paste um, the video of Bitcoin, hashtag Bitcoin 2A, um, later in my videos, but this time I want to make an exception and paste a video about justice ethics and my project of hashtag JCCVW, which is abbreviation for Justice Court Comedy in Virtual Worlds. Normalmente casi siempre al final de los videos pego mi video de hashtag Bitcoin 2A, que es la previsión de a dos años, pero esta vez quiero hacer una excepción y pegar el video de hashtag JCCVW1 que es abreviación, abreviación por uh, justicia en mundos virtuales un proyecto
um, imagine uh, alternative legal systems without the state. Imaginando sistemas legales sin el Estado. And I've got another Twitter account uh, called with the name JCCVW Comedy Court um, with at JCCVW1. También tengo una cuenta de Twitter uh, JCCVW1 que es Comedy Court, uh, Comedia de Tribunales. Uh, bienvenido, por supuesto. And I have uh, several hashtags now. I have one new hashtag, which is Death Row Democracy, written together. Hashtag Death Row Democracy. Bueno, ahora tengo un hashtag nuevo en este uh, cuenta de Twitter, que es uh, escrito juntos Death Row Democracy. Of course, it's just a video project, but um, it's uh, like um, another alternative legal system. Por supuesto, es solo un um, proyecto de videos, pero al final es como un sistema alternativo de um, sistema legal. I don't know, maybe later I'll have a look if it's Creative Commons. Maybe I paste that first and then later my uh, project of JCCVW. Voy a mirar a ver si es Creative Commons. Tal vez voy a pegar esto antes y después mi proyecto de JCCVW. Comedy Court. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your company. My name is Christian Blaze, and I am the CEO of Crystal Insight. And Crystal Insight is a new media company that is uh, building a 21st century film studio using blockchain technology. And what exactly is blockchain technology? Blockchain technology is the underlying technology behind Bitcoin. What it does is it allows peer-to-peer -peer transactions with it without a trusted third party. So for example, if you want to send money to each other, like if I wanted to send you money, um, you wouldn't need a bank in the middle of that transaction. Um, if I wanted to notarize a document, um, I wouldn't need a notary. And if we wanted to enforce certain contracts, you could have software enforce it for us instead of getting like a court involved. Um, normally all those things are enforced by banks, governments, and the courts um, because if you don't do them or you commit fraud or whatever, you end up going to jail. Um, but in the case of blockchain technology, it's all governed by math and um, software. So you don't have to worry about all that. So how is Crystal Insight using blockchain technology? So we're using blockchain technology um, by producing the first ever uh, science fiction series that uses blockchain technology in production and distribution. So what that means is, for example, uh, we're making it so that every time somebody watches a show, all our cast and crew get paid instantly in real time. So you could be watching your phone and as somebody else is watching the show online, you're getting money sent to your phone instantly in that moment. You don't have to wait. Normally in the film industry, you have to wait maybe a month, sometimes even years before you get your royalty payments. So, I mean, anybody that has ever worked in the film industry understands how that can be frustrating. And what is Death Row Democracy about? Death Row Democracy is a series that is set sometime in the future. And it's, it's set in the world where the world has been split in two. On the one side, you have people that want to decentralize all power structures. And on the other side, um, you have people that want to maintain centralized power. 
So what that means is, for example, um, the people that want a decentralized power believe that people should be more autonomous, they should have more control over their lives and the direction they take their lives. And the people that want to keep it centralized believe that, no, there should be a certain group of people that should have a, a bigger say in what happens in the world and how people's lives are governed. Um, so there's a civil war going on between the two sides. And what this does is it gives us an opportunity to explore politics, uh, religion, morality, uh, technology. Um, it gives us a platform to kind of start that discussion um, and deal with some issues that you would normally not be able to deal with, um, say, on a traditional TV series uh, that has to, you know, do certain things a certain way to appease the sponsors while at the same time making a great show. We don't have to do that because um, uh, our fans are, in essence, our boss. How does the assassination market fit into death row democracy? So this is an interesting question because um, uh, we've had mixed reactions towards this. So to give some background, the assassination market um, is an actual website that exists on like the dark web um, where people can actually crowdfund assassinations. Nobody has ever gotten killed on one of these sites that I know of, uh, but the concept is interesting. Um, from a filmmaker's point of view. We're not associated with, with <laughs> this real life thing, but I thought it was a really good um, uh, thing to explore within a web series. So in the web series, when this whole thing is going down around the world where the world is split in two, this website appears where people can crowdfund assassinations. Uh, so you get like corrupt bankers showing up there, uh, politicians, and people get their bounties and the, the more people want you dead, I guess, the bounty increases. And then, um, you know, we explore the morality of this. We explore how this system could be abused by both sides, right? The people that want to maintain centralized power and the people that want to decentralize power. Um, yeah, it's a very controversial thing. Not a lot of people talk about this, but it's something that does exist. Uh, when the internet first started, people we're talking about all the good stuff that was going to happen, but there's also some bad stuff that happens because of the internet, right? Just because there's some bad people doing some bad stuff on the internet doesn't mean you're going to shut down the entire internet, right? So that's how it kind of ties in. It's kind of the hook of the show. And then from there, we hope to draw people in so that we can talk about all the other subjects. Very interesting points. How are you funding this project? Are you using Bitcoin as well? Yes. Um, we're doing some really, really cool stuff when it comes to funding this show. So this is the first time that I know of that um, a show has been funded completely using Bitcoin, whether it's our friends uh, investing using uh, Bitcoin or whether it's crowdfunding a Bitcoin loan to get us from one point A to point B. Or now what we're doing is we're doing a Bitcoin crowdfunding uh, site specifically for this show. So people can go on this site and pay for rewards. And, um, and those Bitcoins help develop the show further, do another episode, uh, finish the current episode. It's a cool way for us to engage directly with the fans. You're gonna get some really cool rewards. For example, you could become an executive producer on the show. Um, you could also have your company's logo as a sponsor on the show at the end credits. Um, things like that, digital rewards. And of course, you're going to get to see the show earlier than anybody else. What are your plans for the future of DRD? Uh, we have a lot of cool stuff, but one of the uh, really interesting things is we're going to try and get the audience involved in the show. So we're going to um, give them the opportunity to vote on certain things that should happen in the show. So we might give them two options on something and then the one that gets the highest votes will actually be what we shoot and present to the public. So it's like a choose your own adventure, a digital choose your own adventure um, way to have an influence on, on what we're doing. Um, I'd also love to be able to shoot um, different episodes in different countries around the world because you can kind of get a different feel of um, the political and economic and, you know, all these different uh, um, challenges that people are facing. Um, will be different here than, say, uh, in India or somewhere else.
esta idea me vino hoy especialmente cuando vi otra vez una chica ahí pidiendo dinero por la calle. Actually, I must say first this idea today I got especially when I saw again um, one girl begging for money in the streets. Me gustaría ayudar, pero yo tampoco me sobra mucho el dinero. I would really like to help everybody, but I, I don't have either too much money. And así que me vino la siguiente idea. So I got the following idea. It's, uh, it's más bien un juego. Uh, it's a rather a game. Muy importante elegir un monedero de Bitcoin que solo tú mismo, mismo tienes la llave privada. What is very important to choose um, Bitcoin wallet, a company which you only possess the private key. For example, uh, blockchain.info. Por ejemplo, la empresa blockchain.info. Luego, imprimir en papel um, la llave privada y también guardarlo tú mismo. Then, to print in paper the private key. And, uh, of course, save for, for yourself that private key. Bueno, ya estamos imprimiendo, imprime por lo menos 10. So now we are already printing, so at least print 10 directions, 10 direcciones. Luego pones algo de Bitcoin, una cantidad, lo que, lo que te da la gana en esta dirección. Then you put some Bitcoin, uh, the amount, whatever you want, in, that, in these directions. Y la próxima vez que sales de casa ya tienes algo que dar a los que están ahí pidiendo por la calle. And the next time you go out of the house, you have already something to give for these people who are begging on the streets. Y por ejemplo, y claro, para tus amigos, amigas, and for your friends, of course. Eso da motivación a la gente para aprender Bitcoin y this gives motivation for the people to learn about Bitcoin. Y la parte del juego consiste en lo siguiente. And the game part uh, consists in the following. Explicas a la gente, mira, esta es la cla clave privada, que es la clave secreta. You explain to the people, look, this is the private key, which must be secret. And uh, you have it and uh, me. And uh, explicas, esa persona y yo mismo la tiene. Y antes pensaba en cinco años, pero luego cambié un poco de idea de hasta cuatro años. First, I thought of five years, but then I changed uh, my opinion to four years. Later, explain. Después, lo expli explico por qué. Les dices, mira, tienes cuatro años para poner esta cantidad de Bitcoin a otra dirección. Si no lo, lo has quitado después de cuatro años, yo lo quito. So you explain them, you have four years to take this Bitcoin out of this direction, of this secret 
uh, key direction. If uh, you don't do it, uh, I do it after these three, four years. So you lose this. That's the, this part of the game. as uh, la parte del juego. He creado este hashtag uh, BTC4 para hacerlo un poco popular. I created this hashtag BTC4 to make it a little popular. Antes pensaba en cinco años, pero luego cambié a cuatro porque te has dado cuenta que en los Simpsons eh, la gente tiene cuatro dedos y solo do, Dios tiene cinco dedos. Um, first, I thought of five years, but then I changed my mind to four years. Um, did you notice that in the Simpsons? People have a four fingers and only God has five fingers. Uh, I'll show some pictures. Voy a enseñar algunas imágenes de los Simpsons. De los manos y dedos de Simpsons. Some pictures of the hands and fingers of Simpsons. Uh, pero antes quiero recordar que Um, es muy probable que en también cuatro o cinco en los próximos años el valor de Bitcoin puede subir mucho. Just want to remember before that uh, the price of Bitcoin, the value of Bitcoin can rise very much in these next years. Así que si solo pones una cantidad pequeña, más tarde puede ser de gran ayuda. Even if you just put a little small amount, later it can be a big help. Uh, no solo para... Bueno, es un juego. <laughs> Si la persona lo quita antes de cuatro años, para, es para esta persona. Si no, es para ti. Si te recuerdas y guardas bien la llave privada. So, uh, it's, this is the game part. If uh, the, the person takes the money out, it's for that person. But if they forget it after these four years, you can take it out. And it can be really... <laughs> Bueno, imprimir también la llave pública y la llave privada. Y si, por ejemplo, ok, first translate. Print not just the private key, but on also the public key. Así que si, por ejemplo, explicas a la gente. Mira, si alguna persona quiere enviarte Bitcoin, pero tú no tienes ninguna dirección, así que puedes dar este esta llave pública a la persona, mira muy bien, la llave pública, no la llave secreta, das a esa persona o cualquier persona y te pueden enviar un Bitcoin a esa dirección. So, remember, uh, the public key you can give to anybody. And if somebody wants to send you some Bitcoin and you, and this person doesn't have any, so you have already this public address where they can send you Bitcoin. ¿Qué es Bitcoin? Bitcoin es la primera moneda digital descentralizada. Los Bitcoins son monedas digitales que puedes enviar a través de Internet. Comparado con otras alternativas, Bitcoin tiene numerosas ventajas. Los Bitcoins son transferidos directamente de persona a persona a través de la red sin pasar por un banco u otro intermediario. Esto significa que las comisiones son mucho menores, puedes usarlo en cualquier país, tu cuenta no puede ser congelada y no hay prerequisitos o límites arbitrarios.
Miremos cómo funciona. Los bitcoins son generados en todo internet por cualquiera con un programa gratuito llamado Minero de Bitcoin. Crear bitcoins requiere una cierta cantidad de trabajo para cada bloque de monedas. Esta cantidad se ajusta automáticamente por la red, para que los bitcoins siempre sean creados a un ratio predecible y limitado. Tus bitcoins se guardan en tu billetera digital, que te resultará familiar si usas banca digital. Cuando transfieres bitcoins, una firma electrónica es añadida. Pasados unos minutos, la transacción es verificada por el minero y es almacenada permanente y anónimamente por la red. El software de Bitcoin es completamente abierto y cualquiera puede revisar el código. Bitcoin está cambiando las finanzas de la misma manera que la web ha cambiado el periodismo. Cuando cualquiera tiene acceso al mercado global, florecen grandes ideas. Miremos algunos ejemplos de cómo los Bitcoins están usándose hoy en día. Puedes comprar videojuegos, regalos, libros, servidores y calcetines de alpaca. Existen varias casas de cambio donde puedes intercambiar tus bitcoins por dólares, euros y más. Los bitcoins son una gran forma para que pequeños negocios y autónomos reciban publicidad. No cuesta nada empezar a aceptarlos, no hay cargos o comisiones y recibirás negocio adicional de la economía bitcoin. Para tus primeros bitcoins y más información visita weusecoins.com When I first heard this flat earth subject, I dismissed it without even giving it a second thought. But more recently, at the beginning of 2015, I ran across a few flat earth videos again. And while looking into the fake moon photos circulating around, I saw that people were claiming that the images from earth from space were fake as well. Pretty soon the flat earth subject became viral online. And after looking at the Apollo missions one night and coming to the conclusion that they were nothing more than a huge con game, it jarred my memory about something. And for a very specific reason, I decided to look deeply into the flat earth without just dismissing it blindly as so many do. Why did I look into it this time? Well, I do pray for knowledge and wisdom and discernment, but maybe the recent Apollo footage I watched helped. However, I live near a very large lake, Lake Ontario, and I happen to remember going to the beach as a kid and looking across the lake and seeing New York State coast off in the distance. I never ever thought anything about it ever, except I remember it being there when I went to the beach. Now, I've been to that beach a hundred times over the years, And once this topic gained more prominence in early 2015, the first video I saw explained the curvature of the Earth and what it's supposed to be in inches per mile. And it resonated with me because I remember that I could see clear across the lake to the other coast, something that broke all the sphere Earth rules. So with NASA fakery on my mind and the memory of seeing this coastline that supposedly was too far below the horizon for me to be able to see it due to the curvature of the Earth, I re-examined the Flat Earth Theory. And as unbelievable as it seems, it started to make a lot of sense, especially since I did distinctly remember being able to see that far coast basically any time I was at my local beach. And as I've said, I've been there hundreds of times over the years. But even so, I went back to the beach recently and stood at the shore. I looked south and guess what? I could see the New York State coastline just like I remember. Now I googled the distance and it was approximately 36 miles. I learned what the curvature of the Earth is supposed to be exactly at that distance. And according to the people that believe in the sphere, and I found out that the coast should have been buried below my ability to see it by almost 900 feet. That part of the New York State coast had a top elevation of less than 300 feet. So that left at least a huge 600 foot discrepancy. And even more because I could see some of the height of the far shore. Was something really wrong with the reality that they've been selling us ever since we were born? Well, I ended up becoming a little fixated on proving or disproving the concept. And at first, I truly thought disproving the flat earth would be rather easy. I thought there had to be a reasonable explanation why I could see so far beyond the so-called curve barrier. I learned about light refraction and superior mirages. I learned about perspective and horizons. I learned about how our eyes work. I viewed dozens of similar experiences on YouTube. I listened to experts and people who thought they had logical but spherical explanations. In fact, I tried for a few months to debunk the concept and just couldn't. The more I looked into it, the more sense it made and the less likely that the sphere model we've been spoon-fed since birth was a reality. It's just flat out wrong. And as more people shared their experiences and proofs online, it only added to my growing, pretty much unwavering belief that the world is not what we've been told. And learning about how our eyes work and how perspective work helps a lot with understanding sunrises and sunsets and ships disappearing hull first at sea and other supposed sphere earth proofs. I can't say for certain what shape the earth is or how big it is, or if there's an Antarctic ring or a barrier beyond it, or if it's an infinite plane. Maybe everything we theorize is not complete. There are so many possibilities that it blows the mind. And the flat earth has no real complete standard model because it's all based on us finding out things for ourselves. We agree on the facts and certain basics, but the rest is only hypothetical even if it seemingly makes sense. 
And as the evidence mounts for both the flat earth and against the sphere, I wanted to create a special place where folks can learn and share what they've learned with other supporters. Differences of opinion are certainly going to come forth and should be expressed openly. But remember that the goal of my videos and their corresponding threads is to provide the opportunity to use each of us to learn and grow in any area that any of us has a problem in. If there is a thing you can't understand, then ask. Someone will have an opinion and we can go from there. If you have a point to make against what is considered an accepted flat earth fact, please provide any relevant links or supporting proofs or videos. I am currently under the impression that the entire space program, even low Earth orbit, and all that is there, is really just a sleight of hand trick by a group of illusionists that have swindled the public, the governments of the world, the media, and us into believing a lie. Everybody, a small group of corporations and cabals have almost complete control over the entire financial, educational, high-level governmental and media systems, leaving it up to real armchair scientists and normal people that can critically think and recreate experiments themselves to independently prove or disprove prove any accepted line of thought about our reality. Look, I ain't the smartest man on the flat earth, but I ain't no dummy. I'm educated, and I never ever questioned or ever thought of an alternative to a sphere earth until this year. It never entered my mind to question this part of our reality at all, ever. But now I question everything. Now, I'm a Christian, and I think I see the big picture. Thanks, Thanks for watching my video. If you'd like to see more proof against the heliocentric model, and proof against the sphere, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if there's anything you disagree with, Make sure you leave a note below explaining exactly why. Remember folks, follow the golden rule. God loves you. We'll talk soon. Bueno, ahora voy a enseñar algunas imágenes de los dedos de Simpsons. Now I'll show you some pictures of the fingers of Simpson. The four fingers, los cuatro dedos y cinco dedos de Dios. The four fingers and five fingers of God of Simpson. Thirteenth of March.
now already some weeks ago, I have written on my to-do list to translate the video BTC4, hashtag BTC4. Schon seit ein paar Wochen habe ich äh, auf meiner To-Do-Liste geschrieben, ähm, den Video BTC4 in Deutsch zu übersetzen. Estoy segura que esta idea puede ayudar a mucha gente económicamente. I am sure that this can help many people economically. Ich bin sicher, dass diese Idee vielen Leuten uh, finanziell helfen kann. Y da motivación para aprender Bitcoin. And give motivation to learn about Bitcoin. Und Motivation geben, um über Bitcoin zu lernen. En este momento el precio de Bitcoin es muy bajo, económico. At the moment the price of Bitcoin is very low, economic. Im Moment ist der Preis von Bitcoin sehr tief. Sería el momento ideal para invertir. Hoy es el 15 de abril 2015. Would be the ideal moment to invest. Today is April 15th, 2015. Es wäre der ideale Moment zu investieren. Heute ist der 15. April 2015. El 27 de marzo 2015 he publicado en mi canal de YouTube Vanos Enigma el primer video sobre hashtag BTC4 explicando cómo me vino esta idea. On March 27th of 2015, um, I published my fir the first video about hashtag BTC4 in my channel YouTube Vanos Enigma, e explaining how I got the idea. Am 27. März 2015 habe ich in meinem YouTube-Channel Vanos Enigma den ersten, den ersten Video über Hashtag BTC4 veröffentlicht und äh, erzählt, erklärt, wie ich diese Idee bekommen habe. La idea consiste principalmente en lo siguiente. The idea mainly consists in the following. Die idea besteht hauptsächlich en folgenden, folgenden. Imprimir en direcciones de Bitcoin en papel. Diez o mínimo diez o mejor cien. To print Bitcoin directions in paper, at least 10 or better 100. Bitcoin adressen in Papier ausdrucken, um, minimum 10 or besser gleich 100. Y luego poner en cada dirección de Bitcoin una pequeña cantidad de Bitcoin. And then put in every Bitcoin direction a little amount of Bitcoin. Und dann in jede Bitcoin Adresse eine kleine Summe von Bitcoin transferieren. Y la próxima vez, cuando otra vez ves una persona por la calle pidiendo dinero, and the next time uh, you see again a person begging for money on the street, or 
und das nächste Mal, wenn du wieder eine Person auf der Straße betteln siehst. Y para tus amigos y amigas, and for your friends, of course, und für deine Freunde natürlich, o tal vez eh, de propina en un restaurante, or maybe a tip in a restaurant, oder Trinkgeld im Restaurant. Bueno, a la hora de imprimir también copiar y guardar las llaves privadas de Bitcoin, de direcciones de Bitcoin. Or when you print the Bitcoin addresses, um, copy and save the private keys of the Bitcoin addresses, of course. Wenn man die Bitcoin-Adressen druckt, auch die, äh, auch die privaten Schlüssel, Bitcoin-Adress-Schlüsseln, ähm, kopieren und speichern. Y a la hora de distribuir las direcciones de Bitcoin, escribir la fecha, por ejemplo, hoy es el 15 de abril 2015, escribir la fecha más plus cuatro años, eh, igual 15 de abril 2019. And then in the moment when you distribute uh, the Bitcoin addresses, you write the date, for example, today, April 15th, 2015, plus, plus four years uh, is April 15th, 2019. Und dann in dem Moment, wenn man die Bitcoin-Adressen verteilt, auf das Papier schreiben, das heutige Datum, zum Beispiel 15. April 2015, plus vier Jahre ist gleich 15.04.2019. Luego vas a explicar a la gente, mira, esta es la llave privada. Tú y yo la tengo, la tienes. Si no quitas, transfieres este dinero de Bitcoin eh, en estos cuatro años, yo lo vuelvo a tener, tener o sacar. Then you explain to the people, look, this is the private key. I have it and you have it. If you don't take this money, Bitcoin, out of this account, I will take it out in, this, um, in these four years, at the end of these four years. Und dann erklärst du den Leuten, schau, das ist der private Schlüssel. Um, ich und du haben diesen privaten Schlüssel, Bitcoin Schlüssel. Wenn du äh, bis Ende dieser vier Jahre das Geld Bitcoin nicht raus tust, transfer, äh, dann hole ich es zurück. De esta forma das más motivación a la gente para empezar a aprender cómo funciona Bitcoin. This way, you give more motivation to the people to learn how the technology of Bitcoin functions. Auf diese Weise gibst du mehr Motivation den Leuten zu lernen, wie die Technologie von Bitcoin funktioniert. In mi video antigua.